All right, uh, Jay here with OK Inc. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get the footage off your camera and onto your computer and then start working with iMovie. So the first thing you need to do is open up your camera, uh, pull out your SD card like this, and then put it in the back of your computer in the SD card slot. So I'm doing that now. And you'll see that it pops up on my computer. So we're gonna open up the SD card and we're gonna to go to DCIM and this is where you will find it, uh, find your footage on your camera. Um, so what you wanna do is, I, I already named mine Cell Phone Saga, so you would open it up here. And then what you should do is make a, uh, let's see here. Um, figure out where you wanna put it. So I'm gonna put mine in Documents and I made a folder called Video 2017 and I made a, another folder called footage and then you would um, grab that folder with your footage in it and you would drag it to here. I already have mine in there so I don't need to do that. Uh, and then you can eject it and then now your footage is on your computer. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, open up uh, your applications and go to iMovie. Where is it? Here. So let's open that up. All right, let's click import media. And let's go to where we had that footage. Video 2017 footage, cell phone saga. Yeah, let's import all of this. All right, so here's our footage now. <clears throat> um, you can see this is our events window. Uh, we can change this, get anything you, you name them. Yeah, there you go. Let's name it Cell Phone Saga. And this footage probably looks familiar to some of you. Um, this is the footage that we did for the conference that we did, I don't know, a couple months ago. Um, so this is your event window. This is where you can kind of scrub through all your footage and see what's going on with the different shots. There's all the different shots that you took that day. Um, and this is our edit window down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the first piece of footage. And I'm going to hit spacebar. All right, and I hit I right there. So I said action. Hit the I button on your keyboard. Right after I say action, then it will start. Then hit, and then hit O on your keyboard for where you want the clip to end. So in and out is what I and O stand for. That's where you want to cut into the footage and where you want to cut out of it. All right. Now let's say you want to extend a little bit. Just put your cursor over the the edge of the clip, and you can drag it out or drag it in very simply. All right. So let's go to our next shot. This one here is actually a little bit out of focus. You see that? So I'm just going to go to this one. It's a little bit closer up. I'm hitting I, and his phone's ringing right there. It's just my wife. It's no big deal. Sorry. Okay. So I'm hitting out right there. I'm going to drag it down. Let's see what this looks like. Phone's ringing. It's just my wife. It's no big deal. Sorry. Okay. All right. Then we want to grab our next shot here of uh, somebody reacting to his phone ringing. So I'm hitting I. <laughs> I'm going to drag that down here. Let's see what this Sorry. looks like. Okay. And you can see right here, actually, that I said OK as the director. So I said, OK. So let's go ahead and drag this back. We don't want that in there. Sorry. Yeah, and that looks better. Sorry. She's getting annoyed. And then she looks right at the camera. So we don't like that either. So let's drag that back a little bit so we don't see her looking at the camera. OK. All right. Let's get our next shot, which would be of the presenter. Hit I. So as I was saying, it's important to develop an effective marketing strategy. Okay. I'm hitting O to cut out of the shot. So as I was So as I was saying, it's important to develop an effective marketing strategy. And you can see something strange is going on. It's pretty bright right here in the shot, and then it's kind of darker here. So let's select it and then let's go up here to this. I have no idea what this is. This guy. Color correction. Okay. So we're going to color correct it. So we're going to add a little brightness to it right here. 
tightening up a bit. Um, this would be saturation, which I think is pretty good. And this is the color correct, uh, the uh, white balance of the mixed color and see what this looks like now. So as I was saying, it's important. It's better. Let's try brightening up, brightening the shot up some more. Hold on. I gotta grab this shot. Make sure you have it selected. Okay. Let's try that. So as I was saying, okay. it's important to develop an effective marking strategy. So that looks good. Cool. One th other thing I want to show you here is let's detach the audio here. There's a lot of times where we'd like to drag audio over into another shot. Sorry. Okay. All right. Let's uh, shorten this up. And let's drag this back to right before I say OK. Sorry. So that kind of mixes the shots together with the audio a little bit, which is nice. Sorry. And there's a lot of times that's useful. If you want audio from another clip, you can just grab it now and you can put it over here if you want to. It's no big deal. Sorry. See what I mean? So it's you can just move, my wife. It's no big deal. Sorry. You can move the audio around, which doesn't make sense for this, what we're trying to do right here, but it could. Uh, makes sense later on. Let's say you had this shot and you want to hear him talking, but you don't have that footage. You could drag this over um, so you can hear him talking. Um, let's say we want to now fade out the audio of this clip. You just grab this little circle and you drag it over. Sorry. That's something important to know. Uh, maybe we should even do that at the beginning of our whole film. Let's try that. Let's make it. Yeah, so that's something important to know. Um, let's see, let's just get to the end of our video. So let's get to the end where she's talking about silencing your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Hit I. Do yourself and others a favor. Silence your cell phone. It could save your cell, cell phone's, phone's life. life. All right, so I'm going to hit the letter O on the keyboard to where I want it to end and there it looks good okay so let's drag that down to end our whole video do yourself and others a favor silence your cell phone it could save your cell phone's life mm -hmm. so now we want to add a little title to the end of this let's do that by clicking on titles up here and let's grab something where do we want to put it right about when the door closes good um, let's put, please silence your cell phone. And it's too big, so let's make it smaller. What's that look like? Oh, let's make it even smaller. Let's type in the size 60. All right. Please silence your cell phone. Good. But we want it to stay longer on the screen. So let's drag it out so it stays longer. Mm hmm. Cool. Now what we want to do, let's drag this out a little bit like this. And let's add a little transition to it. So it will fade to black. Let's add a fade to black transition. Where is that? Yeah. Just like that. And also, let's fade out the audio. Let's grab a little circle here. Feels pretty good, right? All right. Um, now we need to add some music to this. Do let's give it some another. life. All right. So we do that by going up to audio. Let's click here. And you can see. Sorry. OK. Click on sound effects. You can also grab songs if you have songs. I feel like there should be something for Garage Painter, but I'm not seeing it. Let's go to sound effects, and you can listen to all kinds of stuff here. Not quite what we want. You can see there's different sound effects. There's songs here that we can listen to. Let's see. Let's see what that would sound like with this. see how the music's overpowering the audio. So click on the audio that you want to be louder, and then you can do something called ducking. So click here on this little sound button, 
and lower the clip, lower lower the volumes of other clips. Let's do that. And actually, watch, watch the music, the green bar. You can see that it'll go down as we click on it. And it'll actually show you the volume of it decreasing. And then if we slide this over, you can see that it, it moves it around. So let's see what that sounds like now. Do yourself and others a favor. Silence your cell phone. It could save your cell phone's life. Mm hmm. Let's try something here. Cell phone's life. All right. Let's try splitting this clip by right clicking. And let's split it right here. Okay. Let's go to ducking now and let's turn it off. Uh huh. It could save your cell phone's life. Hmm. Your cell phone's life. What do we want to do for ducking here? Just that's the volume we got. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Your cell phone's life. Let's just turn the audio down of the music because it gets too loud, I think. Your cell phone's life. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, okay. You can see how music adds a lot to uh, to a video. Do yourself <laughs> and others a favor. Yeah, like Silence that. your cell phone. It could save your cell phone's life. You can see how this is kind of shaky, this footage, because it's handheld. Um, we can stabilize that by clicking on the stabilize button. I then need to click on this, Stabilize Shaky Video. Let's do that. And then also do it on the second one too. And then uh, see what happens. Do yourself and others a favor. Silence your cell phone. It could save your cell phone's life. And you see it kind of smooths it out, it stabilizes it, and that'll be really handy if you got like a high school kid doing one of these numbers with the camera. That might help you out a little bit. Um, so that's how you can stabilize your footage. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's export the video. So go to share, go to file, go to share, go down to file, and we're going to export it at the highest quality possible. Hit next and go to where you want to um, uh, save the video to, which I'm gonna go to documents, video, I'm gonna save it right here. And let's name it so phone saga saga so I'm gonna save it and then it'll show you when it's done for actually I'm not even gonna click on that okay now it's done and then we can actually click on show so we can see it where it's at and now we can watch it so I'm gonna double click it spacebar All right. It's just my wife. It's no big deal. Let's get to the music. Marketing strategy. Do yourself and others a favor. All right. So that is it for now, folks. Hopefully that gets you started on uh, importing your footage and making some videos. Um, iMovie is a pretty cool tool, and it's should be on your Mac. So, um, all right. That's it. Thanks. Bye.